Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I will be doing a, another voiceover today. My name's Katie and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be doing She Modern Saturday. Now I did already get started on my background, but before I continue, thank you so much to Cherie for inviting me to be part of this collaboration once again. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Drop a comment down below and thank you so much for watching today. So this is what my background is looking like so far. I did leave one nail bare just so that I could show you what my background process was. Um, so the base of the nail original color, I believe is purple era. Okay. I did show you it. I wasn't sure if I kept in, um, the bottle that I showed you, but yeah, so this is purple era and I did one coat of that. Now I didn't worry about getting like a fully opaque first coat. Um, because I was going to be going over it with this beautiful glitter that I got off of Shein like two years ago when I first started my channel. I really want to say it was my first, this was in my first haul. Um, and I've never used it. So we're using it today. And so what I did was I used a little bit of base coat. I used the Model 1's base coat that I had just so that I could stick on the glitters. And pretty much what I did was I picked up, since it has so many different colors and stuff, I picked up a little bit of each color of the chunky glitter and I just kind of like popped it all around all over the nail. And then I used like the back of the, um, this is a rhinestone picker pen, a wax rhinestone picker pen, but I don't like it for rhinestones because for me, I push too heavy and I end up smushing them into the rhinestones um, and destroying them. So this is like my glitter. Um, this is my glitter picker, <laughs> basically. But yeah, so um, mm -hmm. I am picking up chunky pieces and just kind of putting them all over the nail. Like I'm not trying to cover the entire nail, um, but you know, just enough so that there's like enough chunky glitter in the background, kind of like how you saw the other nails. And then I am gonna go in pick up some of the smaller bits and I am just going to go ahead and tap that into the nail. Um, I'm only doing this because I am wearing gloves. I would not pat glitter into gel polish without gloves and you shouldn't either. I'm serious. Don't do it. Always wear gloves. Okay. Um, so yeah, so I ended up when they came out of the lamp, um, I went over them with a very, very, very thin coat of the beautiful chaos from madam glam which i do also have a 35 percent off discount code for them as well um but yeah so i went over the glitters with the a very thin layer of the um, beautiful chaos and i am wiping them on that paper towel because it's a very good brand of paper towel um so it doesn't get a lot of lint and i didn't want to put any glitter that may act you know still come off of the base back into the bottle but i knew that there was going to be a lot of extra product on the nail because i did want the beautiful chaos to be as thin as you see on this nail here so now i do have the she modern um matte top coat but I am just so used to reaching for whatever and I am trying to use up a lot of the smaller polishes, like the smaller um, colored polishes and the smaller like top coats and base coats and stuff like that that I have from like kits that I've bought. I don't want them to go bad while I'm using all of like, you know, my other products. So I figured when I'm doing, you know, like these type of nails, like little press on nails or stuff that's not gonna be going to um, a customer or, you know, on my fingers personally, I'm just gonna use like the other stuff that I don't normally use. That way I can use it up. I really just, I, I wanna stop having so many things that I'm just looking at and not using, but yeah. So that's how I got my background. Um, and now we're gonna go ahead and move into the stamping. So I did go in with the metallic silver from She Modern, and I am using um, the jelly stamper and the scraper card from She Modern as well. This is a maniology plate. I will go ahead and link it down below in the description box. I've been getting pretty good at writing down everything that I'm using beforehand or like while I'm doing it at least. So that's definitely helped me in having a easier list of things to um, add to my description later on than me trying to have to go fish for links and all that good stuff like while I am um, doing the uploading, you know what I mean? Um, and I do, I want to get a better angle for when I am um, 
recording me doing the actual stamping because a lot of times I bend the images to fit the nail the way I want them and I definitely don't think that this view does how I do that justice so I'm definitely going to do like a try to figure out how to film me actually stamping the nail a little bit better so yeah because I I just I know personally when I'm stamping it's not what it looks like than what it looks like on the video it's kind of different so um I would really love to share that part of how I stamp with all of you um so yeah just a just hopefully something to look forward to if I can figure it out. So sometimes what I'll do is like when you have images that are not the same size as your nail because I do do like medium long to long nails normally is I'll go back in and I'll take another like you saw me clean up the image the first time. I was removing any bits of the image on the outskirts of it that like didn't make sense um, or that I knew would be difficult to blend into more of the design so that it like all looked cohesive um so that and then you'll see that i use like bits of the design to go back in and kind of fill in the gaps where um where like there's there's no stamping but like the background is like on one side or underneath or you know just to kind of avoid it looking like it's a stamp that didn't fit the nail you know what i mean so the same thing goes here with this cute, cute, cute image. Although I wish I would have did it in silver as well because the lavender just didn't show up on, um, on the glitter background nail as well as I would have liked. And once it dried down, it did get a little bit darker. So you can't really tell that it's like a geometric unicorn. But yeah, so the rest is pretty... Um, the same thing rinse and repeat I'm just gonna be doing a lot of stamping so I'm gonna go ahead and unless I have something to say about the actual stamping um, I'm gonna let you enjoy this process and then I will pop back in when it is time to seal the stamping in um, if you've enjoyed my video so far please hit that like button drop me a comment down below and consider subscribing if you are not already I would greatly appreciate it and it would help my channel out so very very much Thank you so much for being here today.
so this is me um, finishing up the last nail and I did want to throw in like a junk nail because there were a bunch of like unicorn images that were on this plate that didn't necessarily fit like the vibe that I was going for with the other three nails <clears throat> excuse me but I did still really want to use them so pretty much what I did was I just picked and chose um, you know parts of the images and like here you saw I removed part and then I'm just gonna carefully carefully add the little bit that I want there and then I'm gonna use the other stars somewhere else on the nail and I know I didn't get a good pick of and then I just kind of tap tap and you have a beautiful unicorn junk nail and a um, equipment malfunction I probably should have changed out the sticky tabs on those before all right so now we're gonna go ahead and seal this in because I am gonna go back over it with a matte top coat because I was convinced absolutely convinced that I was gonna like these more matte although I really didn't um, and I think all of the layers of gel kind of muted the glitter anyway by the end but you'll see what I mean um, but this is the clear uh, watercolor stamping sealer um, from she modern and I'm just gonna go over all four of the nails with this this takes about two minutes to dry literally about two minutes um, so I think that's about how long I waited um, so once that's dry I'll be able to go in with the matte top coat over the top and this way it won't smudge the stamping polish So now I am going to go in with the She Modern Matte um, for this layer since I did remind myself um, to make sure that I used it. I really wanted you guys to see what it was going to look like. I really should have made them shiny um, from the get-go before I put the sealer and before I put the matte because I think that glitter background is just look. It looks like a beautiful, like I feel like that background was just perfect for unicorns. Um, but this is what it looked like matte and it was very pretty, but Yeah, I mean it does look really nice. I do really really like it. I think that it was a fantastic idea I just think ultimately I liked the um, The glitter better and then like here you can see you can still see it pretty good But it's just the glitter is just not quite glittering like it was before but all the links for the products will be down below in the description box. Again, thank you so much to Cherie for including me in this collaboration. I appreciate, um, you know, everything that you've done for me. Don't forget to check the description box for the product information and discount codes. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for being here. Please be kind to yourself, be kind to others. And I hope that you'll join me for future videos.